So, yes, it was affecting me. So, thank God we got it under control. It's not as high as it used to be. Just a little bit high now, but not as high. And that's only when I go and get excited and they take my person in, then they will see. Other than that, it's down low. But, um, back to my teeth. So, I'm going through this procedure now. They done went, I went in August, and they took out the rest of my teeth. So you see, this is this is October, two months. That's a process. You have to learn the whole thing all over again. You have to learn how to eat without helpers. You see what I'm saying? You have to learn how to talk. I mean, and I, when I say learn how to talk, I'm not speaking about not being able to talk. But you have to learn how to I have to learn how to fix my tongue so that I can be able to talk so people can understand me. So now I'm going through another procedure and that will finalize my problem of being able to pronounce words where people can understand me. And it used to bother me. I'd be like, wait a minute, is it me? Why, why can't you understand what I'm saying? I'm talking, but people are like, uh, it's not that, or no, what are you saying? I don't understand. So I had a speech imperity, um, if that's a word. So, come to find out, it was because of the bone structure, the bone structure of my mouth. 